Before you start the wonderful video with Freya, we have some great news for you. On Wish Beauty Lab on our other channel, we're actually having a giveaway. So I thought it would be really, really fun and exciting to let you guys know here. Well, Wish Beauty Lab is having a giveaway for 10K subscribers. Thank you so much from the bottom of our hearts. So that's why we're having this giveaway. We will be giving away three wonderful gifts to three wonderful winners. The details are in the description box below and shoop, here we go. Check out the video right now for details, for the rules and for the prizes, okay? Thank you and I will see you next time and please enjoy the wonderful video with Freya. Hi guys, it's Colorful Cosmo Photo and Freya. It's really nice to meet you again here and I was really touched by the, all the comments that you have left on the previous video welcoming me. So today I brought another interesting topic to share with you guys. Before going into the topic, let me just ask you a quick question. Have you ever felt that your face look a bit dull when you look in the mirror? Or does your friend tell you that you look really tired today? Or somebody else tells you that you look a bit older than you are? And do you have trouble dealing with the dark spots like all of your face due to acne and scars? Well, if you fall into any of these categories, you may be having trouble with pigmentation. In the summertime and due to like strong sunlight, it seems like a lot of people is having trouble with freckles and like inflammations. So we prepared all about pigmentation from kinds and causes, prevention and solution. So anyone who is interested, just stay tuned. When it comes to pigmentation, many people think that it is just like the dark spots on your face. But this is not true. There are lots of types of pigmentation and it's not only limited to your face, but it can happen all over your body. The main reason for pigmentation is sun exposure, hormonal change, skin aging, and wrong use of skincare routine. So let's start with our first pigmentation and the first pigmentation is sunspot. Sunspot is like the most common type of pigmentation and let me tell you about the characteristics of them. It is the most common type of pigmentation. It is brown color and it doesn't cause a change in its texture. And however, compared to freckles, they're more darker and looks more irregular. Um, on the face surface. And the cause for the sunspot is overexposure to UV rays for a prolonged period of time without any treatment or protection. When the skin is exposed to the sun, the melanin appears on your skin surface with a dark pigmentation, they clump together. Prolonged exposure may accelerate the process, causing the sun spots to increase or darken. And second type of pigmentation is freckles. It is a flat circular spot which are usually tan or light brown colored spots and it doesn't also cause any changes in your skin texture. It also appears a lot on a person who has a light skin. There are mainly two reasons that causes freckles and the first one is due to genetics. Freckles usually appear when someone is really young. It even starts appearing to your face when you're two years old and with age, uh, its appearance may become increasingly obvious. Removing it is not really necessary because it's not dangerous or cancerous or anything, but it could make you look more older. And the second reason is the overexposure to the sun. Freckle can easily become a concern if one does not practice a good sun's protection. Long exposure to UV rays can cause the original freckles to get darkened or it can also make new freckles. And the third type of pigmentation is the post-acne pigmentation. There are two types of post-acne pigmentation and the first is it's reddish in color. Um, it is caused by broken blood capillaries that is due to the acne extraction. And the second one is the darkened color that results from overproduction of melanin in reaction to the inflammation um, at the affected area. And there are mainly two things that causes the post-acne pigmentation and the first one is squeezing of pimples. And when the acne extraction is not done professionally, um, instead of putting the pus out, someone might push them down. And if they do so, it will cause more reddish um, and also it will make 
it more swollen. The skin and the tissue beneath it may also get damaged in the process, increasing the possibility of inflammation and risk of scarring. And the second reason is the usage of unsuitable skincare products. Acne may worsen when someone uses like, alcohol-based products or um, over-drying facial cleansers. They will really easily irritate your skin. Products that is good for acne, they can usually be harsh on skins. So when it's overused, it can make your skin more drier, make your skin to produce more sebum to maintain the balance of moisture in your skin. And this in turn may cause more pimples to appear on your face. And the fourth type of pigmentation is the post-inflammation hyperpigmentation. And it is developed by wound inflammation and it is typically brown, black, tan color. It is due to increase of color pigmentation caused by injury or uh, inflammation to the skin. And the main reason that causes this pigmentation is the usage of unsuitable cosmetic procedures for your skin types. For instance, like wrong way of peeling, laser treatment, like IPLs, and so on. And these will aggravate your skin condition instead leading to post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation. And the next type of pigmentation is melasma. Melasma is characterized as a butterfly-shaped pigmentation. It is a type of hyperpigmentation that is more common to a person with a darker skin tone. Patchy brown discoloration that spreads over a specific part of your face will make your face look more dull. And there are mainly three things that causes the melasma. And the first one is pregnancy. About 50 to 70% of pregnant women have experienced melasma. And the second reason is the hormonal change. Um, for instance, some medications such as birth control pills, um, they can make your skin more vulnerable to pigmentation when it gets exposed to the UV ray. And the last reason for melasma will be the genetic issues. Um, if somebody has a family history of having a melasma before, he or she will have a more higher possibility of having one too. The last type of pigmentation is the computer radiation spots. And the computer radiation spots may develop from a long period of exposure of mobile phone or computers. Um, it is typically caused by the radiation that's um, caused by them. However, among a lot of pigmentation type, this computer radiation spot is the least common one. Now that we know the types and causes of pigmentation, now let's look at the ways to prevent these kinds of pigmentation. We now know that the main reason for pigmentation is UV ray, the sunlight. So let's keep that in mind. We are going to give you lots of product recommendations, so stay tuned. The biggest reason for the pigmentation was the UV ray, the sunlight. So in order to prevent your skin having a pigmentation, we have to block the sunlight. We have to make sure that we have to use a good sunscreen and also a base makeup that contains SPF. It is not only important to apply that kind of product, but also it is really important to reapply during the daytime. Not only that, but it is really important to give a good after sun care if you want to prevent the pigmentation. Starting with before sun exposure, the product that I'm going to show you is this Midday Blue Sun Lotion. And this is really mild and light product that will protect your skin during the daytime. These days it's really hot, you know, so if you want a really light finish, and this lotion contains SPF level of 40 PA++. Did you know that it is always better to apply more SPF products if you want more protection? So even though you use a good sun lotion with enough SPF level, if you want more protection, you can always use a base makeup with more SPF level. It will do no harm but rather give you protection. But you would never want your makeup to become cakey, so it's really important to choose a base makeup with a light texture and also with enough moisture in it because then it will make your makeup stay smooth throughout the daytime. So the product that I'm going to introduce to you is these two and this one is Claire's Illuminating Supple Blemish Cream. And this one is, is this so cute. Oji BB Cushion. Moving on to after sun care, it is really important to protect your skin from the UV ray. However, it is also really important give, to give a after care. So it is really important to find the most effective product that does not irritate your skin. However, it regenerates your skin cell and also it 
which can calm your skin. So the first product is the one of the newly launched products from Claire's and this is Midnight Blue Youth Activating Drop. And it has received really good feedback from all the Wish Trend company staffs because of its really good ingredient peptide. Regenerates collagen into skin, which was damaged by the UV ray. So try including this blue elixir to your first step skincare in night routine after cleansing. And the next key to after sun care is skin repairing. So the product that I'm going to show you this time is Claire's Midnight Blue Calming Cream. This product is not only famous among Claire's product, however, it is also famous inside Korea. Lots of companies are making Me Too products, like. It looks the same and it functions the same as this product, however, we are the originals. The Gua Jolin ingredient is not only good for calming the inflammated skin and damaged skin, also the Centella Asiatica ingredient will also help regenerating the damaged skin and also prevent the skin from being scarred. One of the next reason why we get the pigmentation is due to acne. So we should make sure that we extract acne in the right way or to get a help from a profession. We actually did a video regarding acne 101 uh, talking about the types of acne, how to remove it, and how to give a good aftercare. So check out the card right here. So we brought two product recommendations for acne care. These are really effective and efficient product for acne care so hope you guys could try it out. The product that I'm going to show you is I'm from Honey Cream. This is one of the Wish staff's favorite product because we can instantly see its results. So if you put a little bit of this cream on top of the acne or the inflammated part, just go to sleep. The next day, the inflammation will be gone. The next product is Skin Miso Spot Repairing Serum. We've introduced this product before in the acne video. However, this is also a perfect product when it comes to um, preventing scarring or a pigmentation. If you just apply this product on top of the acne or the inflammated spot, it will immediately create a, a protective layer which will protect your spots from the outer environment. Now we know how to prevent it, however, what are we going to do with the pigmentation that's already on our skin? We have to fade them out, right? So here are some selections that you can choose. Starting with our newly launched product from Wish Trend, it is Mandelic Acid 5% Skin Prep Water. This is the most mild AHA exfoliating water that will prep your skin and remove impurities without any irritation. So people with a really sensitive skin type will also be able to use this without any irritation. The great part is that it not only exfoliates the skin gently, but also it helps the pigmentation to improve the skin tone and the texture. And if you use it continuously, you will really see the difference in skin discoloration improvement. The next product is by Wish Trend Pure Vitamin C 21.5 Advanced Serum. This is the one of the best seller on Wish Trend, and the reason of its best selling is because it is the most effective vitamin serum that um, fades away the acne spot and pigmentation. We have so many good feedback regarding this product. It may be sounds too harsh that 21.5% of vitamin is contained, however it is not sticky at all like other products out there. If you have extremely sensitive skins, try starting with our Claire's Freshly Juiced Vitamin Drop and see how your skin reacts to vitamin C. But vitamin C is the most effective ingredient to fade out the pigmentation, so we definitely recommend this product. And the last product that I'm going to recommend you is this By Wish Trend Vitamin 75 Maximizing Cream. This product not only boosts the effect of vitamin C but also soothes the irritated skin. Vitamin E in this cream works well with vitamin C which will work better when it comes to removing the pigmentation. But since vitamin C is not the most mildest ingredient, finishing up your skincare with the moisturizing or a cooling light cream will be the best way when it comes to taking care of the pigmentation. So this is the end of the video regarding pigmentation. I hope these all the information and product recommendation became a really big help to you guys. If you like this video, press like and subscribe. I hope you have a wonderful day and see you next time. Bye-bye.